Can we talk about the violin now? Yes. Um, it's a very beautiful looking instrument. Um, is it a new instrument? No, it's an old one. It's a Stradivarius. And I'm privileged to play on this one in already, I think, 16 years. It was donated to the Israel Harmonic Orchestra by the great Henrik Schering. Yeah. Not many people can donate it now. <laughs> and, but and he donated this, this to the orchestra. Yes, mm. and it has quite a history? Yeah, it has quite a history. It was owned by Eugène Isri, the great Belgian violinist, and he played a recital in St. Petersburg and Mariinsky Theatre. I think it was 1908, 1909, something like that. I'm not sure about the date. And it was stolen. In few years, years it, it was found, so he, he continued to play on this violin. And then the famous conductor Charles Munch on this violin, and then it came to Henrik Schering. Wonderful. So and, and what year was it made? I think 1735. 1735. The funny thing that for five years I was the guest concertmaster of the Mariinsky Theatre. So I, was, I played actually. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> there, yes. where, where the violin was stolen. Yes. Well, I'm glad it's found you. One of the things that is very clear is that your life is music and music is your life. Yeah. Um, have there ever been times through your life where you've thought, I wish I had time to do something else. H has that thought ever occurred to not you? Not really, no. not really. We always have difficult times in our life and we think, oh, and sometimes we are tired of things because well, it's not only music, we are always dealing with people, which is the most difficult. And Especially when you're a concert master at 20. Exactly, <laughs> when you're teaching. I mean, every day you are dealing with pe people and it makes it difficult. But music itself is great. I, I love it. Yeah. Yes. To deal with uh, animals, yes. because there are animals. Oh, do you have but, an animal? Yeah, we have a cat. Oh. Oh. And, uh, but again, you can't deal, just deal so, do something with animals, you have to do with the people. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. So um, <laughs> uh, who looks after your cat while you're... My like, wife. No. Uh, yeah. And what, um, uh, what sort of cat is it? Street cat. Oh. Israel's like, yeah. like um, Athens, just cats. Yeah, right? Istanbul is even better. <laughs> he just came to the artistic entrance of the, my auditorium and he waited the whole lab of him to be saved. <laughs> How beautiful. Well, oh, that's a nice story. He knew that he would get a nice food for the life of time. And when you play at home, he's just happy to... He, he don't, don't care about that. I still love it. That's wonderful. Thanks for talking today.